Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet, and we are still doing the Halloween 2024 event, and this time we are in Maki Maki Lake, Peru. Now, this lake is not a huge lake, but it is filled with some pretty good-sized monsters without it being Halloween. Well, let's go ahead and jump in here. And see what you need to do here now this next one I did cover at the end of the last video it's called the Peruvian mystery the phantom long canoe now we need to read a story about vampires on the fourth of the page of the diary the coordinates from the diary led you to Maku Maku the local villagers told you that vampire fish often appear in the lakes waters at the eve of All Saints Day the sign of their hunt is the appearance of a ghostly canoe which these fish sank along with the fishermen. On the ghostly canoe you found marks of sharp teeth. It's likely the work of one of the vampire fish, but which one? You need to catch all the toothy fish and find them. Now in this particular lake there's definitely some species here that have some fangs and they are called vampire fish. The Piara is the most the biggest one. And the Biara is a smaller version of it, the same family. Now the this other one, the Jacunda, not sure why we're catching those because they don't have fangs, but I guess they threw them in with a, to make it a little bit more difficult. <laughs> but anyway, first of all, we need to read the fourth page of the diary. I'm sure we need to go ahead and catch the fish, and then at night come in and find the Phantom Long Canoe. So I guess we go ahead and jump in here and see what we can do about reading the fourth page. I think that's under specials. Yeah. Yep, there it is. You found page four of the diary Amazonian mystery. Page four of the diary Amazonian mystery. When the vampires were banished from the old world, they found refuge in the wildlands of South America. Legends do not retain information about what happened to their ship upon arrival, but it is known that they settled on an old steamboat. Gliding through the waters of the Amazon, they conducted their dark affairs, remaining invulnerable to the local tribes. To strengthen their defense, the vampires create monstrous vampire fish who, as invisible guardians, attack the locals' boats. Years passed and the vampires themselves disappeared, leaving behind only dark memories and horrors. But the monster fish remained tied to the ghostly ships, a reminder of that dark era when the Amazon was her territory. On misty nights under the moon, you can hear the splash of water as the vampire fish patrol their cursed waters, forever guarding the phantom vessels, vessels of their creators. So I think there might be, well, this is a phantom canoe first. So it's this one, it's actually got like a roof on it. So it's a big canoe. <laughs> so it looks like we need to use Cursed Akun, a Cursed Araku Minnows for catching Jakuna. BR with Cursed Araku Minnows and Hayara. So we gotta get four, three, and two. And I have a feeling it's not gonna be all that easy. Alright. Let's jump in here. Probably gonna need a boat. That's my guess. But we do have bottom rods. And we have rod holders on this boat. Alright, let's see. Put that away for now. 
Okay, so this is the main hub, I would assume. Let's spin the wheel, see if we get, we got a, a noose. <laughs> Not sure what we can do with that, but... Just seeing if there's anything over here we can... Yeah, it used to be you got stuff out of the pumpkins, but apparently you don't anymore. We got skulls. Now, if we really wanted to make it interesting, we could take out our fun little canoe here. Well, let's take a look at the map, because I do have markers throughout this lake. So we need to find where Jacunda can be caught. Let's see, Brycon. The PR, I believe, are over here. Arowana. Trophy PR, yeah. Unique Piara, Marijuana's, Piara there, so we've caught them all around there. Let's see, Arapaima, Trophy Spotted Araku, now there's the monster fish that normally is here. Now these are going to be catfish. So I don't have a marker for Jacunda, which is going to make things a little difficult. And I'm not sure where to find them. We do have one for BR right there, so that's good. So the BR are actually kind of close. Well, in theory. Let me see what the peak period is. We are in a peak. So my thing here is we probably ought to just go ahead and put a rod pod down and see if we can't get some of the BR knocked off of this list. Hopefully these rods can all reach. Cursed Araku Minnows. So that's a four rod hook. I'm not so sure. For the BR that might be kind of big. I don't know. Well, let me see something. I'm sure the map will tell me what I caught the last one off of. And it just says common middle. It doesn't say hook size. It's not very big, though. I'm going to go with the 2 odd. That's kind of safe. We'll just go 2 odd across the board here. And then for the bait, we got the Cursed Minnows. And I'll probably try float fishing as well. We'll just see how well they bite. And this is the... Ah, shoot. I'm not going to get much of a cast out of this one. Well, we'll cast it out there anyway and see... It may not do anything. Well, heck, this is going to cast even shorter. It's the trouble with these sea rods. They just don't cast very far. They don't have to. You pretty much lower them into the water, so... Now, these two should. Oh, yeah. We got four rods out there. Now let's see what we got on here. We got the. We still have the boil crawfish. I have no idea what might go for that. It just says armored big head. Doesn't give any indication that anything else would take it. Let's go with the two lot. Leave everything as it is. Okay, we're getting a bite. And we're getting it off. This rod, that's kind of interesting. That's a 
Bryken. I would not have guessed they went for that. Every rod has something on it. A trophy Bryken. What the hey, Bryken go for that? I uh, piranha, that's kind of a given. Yeah, the only thing that's going to worry me about this, guys, is that we're going to be getting fish that we don't need. So far, we're not getting anything that we need. Well, that's the only marker I have for them. I do know that I caught them over here. I just don't have a marker. We may just go over to this location, because if we're getting broken... That isn't even close. I thought they pretty much ate small things. Maybe we need to increase our hook size. I don't know. Let's head over here to this other spot. See if we can't go for the PR if nothing else. Well, let's try here first. Okay, we got something big right out in front of us here, guys. Something really big. So I think we may have found the spot. I can only get two rods out here, so wait a minute. Probably want to go ahead and grab this. Yeah, I did get BR over there, so I'm going to try that for them. But I am going to change this hook size to considerably bigger. We're going to go with a six odd. Let's put a six out on this one. Keep it about the same depth. The yeah, animal is alive because it's, it's swimming around. Okay, something's chasing it. Let's just hope it's not another Brycon. But I do see something in that water. Come on. If you're going to take it, take it. There we go. We got one on the other one too, guys, so let's see what this one is. And it's a butterfly peacock bass. Not what we need, but we got one on this one too. Shoot, if 
we just keep getting these guys, we're going to be out of bait before we get there. Ugh, got to be kidding me. That is not going to work. And yeah, we got one on this one now. Well, these are some heavy rods, so I have no idea if it's going to... Okay, we got one. Oh, cool. We got a trophy Jacunda. Okay, well, I'm marking that because that is where they are. <laughs> That way I'll know from the future. Well, that was not a waste. That was not a wasted one. So that's good. That's good. Well, there's something going for it already. I see a fish. So they're definitely going... I can't tell what color fish it was. I'm hoping it's what we need. Wait, there we go. Okay, this one might... Yeah, this one's a little bit bigger, I think. That's a trophy red-eyed piranha. I got it. She's rowed it down to 30. Wow, they are really active here today. Look at him. I think that's another piranha, though. I can't tell. I can see the fish deep, but I don't think it's big enough. Unless it's another Chikunda. Ah, good. A Biara. That's one of the ones we need, guys. Now, you can see why they're referred to as vampire fish. I don't know why they call the Chikunda that, but they definitely have lower fangs. Not like the PR I have, though. Theirs are much bigger. So this is the... Seems to be a good spot so far. We can just avoid getting the other ones. Something was nibbling on that earlier, but... It it. Whatever this is, it's not very big. Red tail barracuda. After a six odd hook, too. Jeez. Well, I got a snag, so I got to start that over. I think what I might do is increase my hook size. Okay, well, we got to bite on this other one, so that helps. Can't tell what it is just yet, but hopefully... It is when we need. Here's a Pyara. There we go. Finally. So we've got one of each one. As you can see, they look a lot like the BRs, except 
They're thicker bodied and they have much longer lower fangs. And I think I have one chasing this one, so I need to get rid of this real quick. Well, whatever it was, quit. Still nothing off of this one. All right, I don't know which one is. It's this one. Oh wow, this one's big. Oh, really big. Holy crap, what the heck have we got here? We must have an Arapaima. And we got one on the other one too. Ah shoot, I'm gonna lose in one of them. I mean, it could be a really big PR too. But we'll find out soon enough. That's an Arapaima. Dang on it. Any other time I'd be thrilled, but I lost my other fish. Good size one though. 114 pounds. <laughs> but we don't need him. <laughs> Can you believe that? And we lost the other fish. And we lost our bait. Lovely. I think we have something on interest in this one, but I'm not sure. Maybe not. But we're going to run out of these baits for sure. Two at the same time again. I can only hope this is something we need. And it is a chikunda. We got another chikunda. Awesome. We're getting those more than I thought we were, honestly. Is this one ah peacock bass trophy though still not what we need just wasting our bait all right there is something after it but it's gonna get me snagged keeps going that direction Come on, just take it, deck on it. All right, we got one. I'm surprised we didn't get snagged. 
And we got our third Jakunda, so I guess we are going to get these knocked out. Pretty slick. I do know that the PRs bite more at night than they do in the morning, so... BRs are a little trickier. They're a little bit harder to catch. You'd think it'd be the other way around, but they're actually much harder to find and catch. Come on, just take the darn thing. Okay, whatever this is, it really wants a bed. Alright, let's see. This is decent size. This could be what we're after. I think it is. Yep, there's all the Payara, and it's a trophy one. There you go. So we got those knocked out. Almost have the Jakuna knocked out. We need to get two Bieras. I knew I was going to get stuck on those guys. Yeah, I want to give you a good look at this if you haven't seen them before, but you can definitely see why they are called vampire fish. Even though the fangs are on the bottom jaw, not the top. Pretty decent predator. Alright, I think we are going to move the boat here a little bit, guys. So I have a better spot. I knew, should have known we had a snag. Got us a branch. <laughs> yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to shore over here and see if I can't get the BR from over here. I have gotten BR here quite often at this particular spot. The only problem is I do get Arapaima here a lot as well. Since we already know that they're going to go for the same bait. But we just have to get three fish. That's it. Three fish and we have it. Yeah, there's a little dock over here. Alright. Yeah, we're going to try fishing around right here if we can. Go ahead and put our rod pod down. We do not need PR anymore. So we can size the hook down a little bit. I think I'll take it down to a 4 out. We can still get the BR with these, but... Actually, we can try all of them here now. This should be able to cast right where I need it to. Now, did I mark that PR or just a Jacunda? Yeah, that was the Jacunda, so I am going to put one over here too, just to be sure. Shoot.
Eh. Nah. Let's put one over here. One right in front. Then the float rod right over here. Oh, we may not have to wait that long. Yeah, he's definitely on there. Let's see what he is. Hopefully, he's one of the ones we need. A red tailed barracuda again. This is very big. If we get another one of those guys, I think I'm gonna... Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Two of them? Let's see, where are we on the peak? We're in a downswing. Let me throw this right out here. Okay, this is a little bit bigger of a fish. Could be what we're after, I don't know. Yes, a unique Biara. Holy cricks. I'm not sure I've ever gotten a unique one. Awesome. Yeah, I want to take a look at this fellow. Unique VR. I think I was trying to get one, but I never did get one. Unique VR. There you go. I know I've got one on there, but I want to mark that. Shoot, I got two of them on there. Okay, that one got off. And that's all the BRs. A trophy BR, just to finish it off. Not bad. I didn't think it would happen that quickly, guys. All we need is a Jacunda, and we've got them all. These spots held true. Well, I am definitely going to try to see if I can't use that same spot for the Jacunda. Wait a minute. Let me go ahead and grab this. I've got plenty of Jacunda right there, so I'm going to keep that spot. Using that same spot so that we can... Pick these guys up a little quicker. I think I got one off the bottom and one off the top. Maybe two off the bottom, I don't remember. Maybe it's hard to remember, but I know I got at least one bottom fishing. Just one more, guys, and we will have all of them. Okay, 
Okay, we've got bite on this one. Seems a little big to me, but... Yep, butterfly. There's some action going on over there. Come on. That looks like a piranha. We're down to 13 of our baits. That's not good. We just gotta get one more, guys. I'm surprised. I was sure we'd get hung up on the BR, but apparently we're gonna get hung up on the Jacundas. Let's see what this one is first. This is not a big fish. I think it's another butterfly. Unique butterfly peacock bass. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's two uniques, guys, so far. Wow. That's incredible. I'm not even trying for it. Okay, we got one here. Ugh, another red tail. Those things are kind of a pain in the butt, if you ask me. There it is. The last one. We did it, guys. We got it, and we actually got it pretty quick. Well, let's go ahead and grab this one. It looks like we have something on our float rod chasing it. We'll see if he goes after it. But we don't need to do any more with these guys. Is he going to take it? Nah, I think he's going to quit. That's alright, we're done. Alright, let's go ahead and put that away. So now... Shoot, I keep doing that. Go to the missions. We need to... the dead of night, find the Phantom Long Canoe. At night, get a silicone finger from the locals at the Rotorongo Village. Alright, let's go ahead and put that away. And we'll get on the boat. Looks like we have a lot of fish right in front of us. Can't say that I've ever fished that direction. That might be worth trying sometime. Don't really have time to do it now, though. Let's see. I think we're hung up a little bit. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to stop the boat. And we're going to fast forward time. Did it say midnight? or night. Sometimes can be extremely poor. The dead of night, find the phantom long canoe. Well, the dead of night is supposed to be midnight. So, that's what we're doing. It's the peak time anyway. <laughs> 